Well, hello there, internet friend, and welcome back. So I've made a couple of these videos, particularly with the MetaQuest 2, or the Oculus Quest 2, as it was called back when I did my first one. But now we have the release of MetaQuest 3, which I have also got my hands on. Now, when it comes to streaming your MetaQuest 3 to a television, there is a few things you need to take into account. The first thing you need to know is MetaQuest devices, at the time of filming this video, are only compatible with Chromecast devices. What this means is if your TV is a smart TV, uh, like you've got a Roku or a Samsung or an LG or whatever you've got, if that smart TV does not use Google Chromecast by default, like built into the system, then you will need to purchase yourself an external Google Chromecast device. For some reason, I don't know why, it's not made abundantly clear on the internet that um, MetaQuest devices are only compatible with Chromecast. It's not even listed on Meta's website, which as a general consumer, I find a bit frustrating. However, the good news is there's a solution and Google Chromecast is it. <laughs> I have linked to this specific one down in the description box for you. I picked mine up on Amazon and the white one is the latest version. I will be doing a video at some stage on how to set one of these up, but essentially all you do is plug it into the back of your television, plug it into the wall, go through the setup process, and voila. One of the other cool things about having one of these external Chromecast devices is it makes it more portable. So if you go traveling and you wanna do like a VR workout or something, you can. They also allow you to turn a TV that's not smart, meaning if you have a flat screen TV that doesn't have smart capabilities, you plug this bad boy into the HDMI port and voila, your dumb TV is now a smart TV. That's why I really like these things. Anyway, enough about Chromecast and why they're amazing. Let's get into how to connect a MetaQuest 3 to a television. All right, so here we are. This is my smart television turned on in its default state, not with a Google Chromecast. Unfortunately, my television is one of those televisions that needs Chromecast because it doesn't use Chromecast by default. Uh, so to switch over to it, what I've done is I've plugged the Chromecast into the back of the television. And all I do is go input, go to my HDMI settings, HDMI one, or depending on what port you put it in. And now you see the Google Chromecast interface shows up over the top of what I had before. However, we don't want to use it for that today. What we want to use it for is our casting, <laughs> and that's where we pull out our MetaQuest 3, and off we go. Okay, so here we are. We're inside the MetaQuest 3 headset now. You can see I'm using the new color pass-through feature. It's a bit trippy, isn't it? So what we need to do from here is click the Meta button on the right controller. What that's gonna do is gonna bring up this main panel down here for us. And if you click uh, the little pink camera icon just here, this menu will pop up. On this menu it says I'm recording a video, and whilst I'm recording a video, this is a new feature in MetaQuest 3 by the way, you're not able to cast and you're not able to go live, unfortunately. So what I've actually got to do in order to show you how to do this, I've got to stop recording and then cast will become clickable and then a couple of menus gonna pop up. So I'm gonna get screenshots of the menu to show you. So let's stop recording. We're just back to normal video. And as soon as I did that, cast is now clickable. So I'm gonna click cast. And then the first thing that pops up is this little menu here. On this menu here, it'll show you what is available around to cast on. You can see that we've got MetaQuest Mobile, we've got Computer, and we also have Chromecast HD. Chromecast HD is the Chromecast that we just plugged into the back of this television. However, if your television has Chromecast built into it, it will say Smart TV on this little menu, okay? It'll look something like this. So yeah, what you wanna do is click that, click next, and then what should start happening is, I'm now casting my environment on the television. Whoa, that's trippy. <laughs> Let's see what happens when I turn the color pass-through off. Vroom. Oh, and there we go. There's my avatar, <laughs> and this is my virtual surrounding. So this here is the menu that I was talking about before. Um, and see how I've been able to select casting and we've got that little green dot. That means it's casting successfully. If I want to stop casting, I just click the button again and it'll give me the option to stop casting. And when I do that, it'll return back to the normal Google TV function. Ah. And that, my friend, is it. That is how you cast a MetaQuest 3 to a television. If this video helped you out, make sure you give it a big thumbs up for the Outube algorithm. And remember, you will need a Chromecast device if your television doesn't support it by default. I have linked to Chromecast devices in the description box for you. And I just wanted to say thank you so much for swinging by. Bye.